So, dear friends, it's good to be with you again on this hot Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. It's hot in Penang. I don't know what the weather is like where you are, uh, but it's Penang. It is nice and hot. And uh, today I want to tell you about this book, okay? Something very unique and uh, maybe I could say a gift, a gift of God, of the Holy Spirit to the church, particularly in Malaysia. And uh, this is the Al-Kitab, Versi Bonio. Now, why I'm so excited about this is this is Bahasa Malaysia, the first proper translation of the Bible in Bahasa Malaysia, which is our Bahasa Ibunda, our Bahasa Tana Air Kita, the Malaysia. And uh, we are going to, Andre is going to lead you. A uh, title is with us still. Title. Titus. Titus, sorry. Titus is still with us in the, at, the, at the keyboard, and uh, D- uh, David and Andre. And today you see a new kid on the block here next to me. Uh, her name is Jael, a very interesting name. It's found in the Old Testament, by the way. <laughs> and she belongs to the Auxiliary of the Apostolic, uh, which is a group that is present in the Diocese of Penang uh, under the Bishop of Penang. So she will be uh, praying with us and, uh, and helping to to pray with us in Mandarin. So this book is the common work or effort of uh, all the different Christian churches, okay? And today we are going to sing the Our Father, which is from this Versibonio Al-Kitab, Basa Malaysia, okay? The Our Father, taken word for word from this book. And for your information, the seven deuterocanonical books, those of you who understand what I'm saying, I'm not going to explain too much, uh, which are the Catholic books. We are in the process of translating them. The job has been given to Bishop Richard Ng of Miri Diocese. He has formed a team. I have sent two experts from here to be part of the team to help uh, uh, translate into Basa Malaysia the seven remaining Catholic books which are not in the Protestant version. And it will be out very soon. So this is very, very dear. Uh, it's our language, our national language. Okay, not Bahasa Indonesia. Okay, so uh, Andre and uh, Titus are going to lead us in the Our Father <laughs> in our national language. It, Silicon. It's a video actually. It's a video. So we are going to listen to it and you can sing along. I think the words are displayed the words are there. there. Okay. Silakan. Bapa kami yang di syurga suci lan namamu Datanglah kerajaanmu terlaksanalah kehendakmu di bumi sebagaimana di syurga Berilah kami makanan untuk hari ini Ampunkanlah kesalahan kami Sebagaimana kami mengampuni mereka Yang bersalah terhadap kami Janganlah biarkan kami tergoda Tetapi selamatkanlah kami Daripada yang jahat Engkau lah yang mempunyai kerajaan Kekuasaan dan kemuliaan Kekuasaan dan kemuliaan 
நம்முடைய தேசிய மொழியில் பாடின தேசிய மொழியில் மலேசிய தேசிய மொழியில் ஒரு புது பைபிள் வெளியாயிருச்சு அல்கிதா பர்சி போர்னியோ ஸோ இந்த பாபா காமி நாங்கள் பாடின பாபா காமி பாஷா இந்தோனேஷியாவில் பாஷா மலேசியா நம்முடைய தாய் மொழி தாய் நாடு மொழி ஸோ இது நம் பெருமையுடன் வெளியாக்குகின்றோம் SELAMAT PETANG SAUDARA SAUDARI SEKALIAN SELAMAT DATANG KARENA SUDI BERHADIR PETANG INI DENGAN KITA INI BARU KITA BARU DENGAR LAGU YANG BARU YAITU DOA BAPAK KAMI TERJEMAHAN YANG BERAT YANG TERTULIS ITU OH MAAF DI SINI OKE TERJEMAHAN YANG TERTULIS ITU IALAH DARIPADA VERZI ALKITAB VERZI BONYO Mengapa kita nak um, menayangkan meng, um, Alkitab Bazi Borneo? Kerana Alkitab Bazi Borneo ini dalam bahasa Malaysia, bukan bahasa Indonesia, tapi bahasa Malaysia. Inilah satu bahasa yang boleh menyatukan seluruh umat hmm. di Malaysia. Jadi, lagu ini penting. Um, yang penting sekali dalam, dalam Alkitab ini, sekarang ada kerja yang dilakukan untuk um, mengadakan um, versi Katolik yang adakan uh, tujuh buku juturokan ini kerana nonikal iaitu tujuh um, um, ke, keundangan baru juturokan ini kerana nonikal dan dalam beberapa dalam sekejap lagi versi Katolik akan dikeluarkan jadi yang penting kalau boleh dapatkan satu, dua, tiga. Satu untuk engkau sendiri, satu untuk keluarga, dan satu lagi sebagai hadiah. <laughs> ah. Dan bacakan. Biar kita menguatkan iman. Iman kita sebagai umat Katolik Malaysia. Ini呢,我们终于有了马来文,马来西亚的圣经。所以呢,啊,这本圣经呢,是由我们自己,啊,马来西亚的母语,就是我们自己的母语呢,啊,来,啊,偏版的。所以呢,这个对团结马来西
okay, the inspiration to do this came from the Acts of the Apostles. The Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6, verse 2. And you must understand here, uh, this is after Pentecost, okay? And the church is actually growing. Numbers are increasing, okay? And what happened was, the 12, that means the apostles, uh, the 12 apostles, uh, they already found a replacement for Judas by then. The 12 apostles were getting very involved with administration, with finance, with feeding of the widows and the orphans, and serving at the table where the widows and orphans were being fed. And then the Peter suddenly realized, hey, something is wrong somewhere. Huh? We are apostles and we are spending so much time with administration, with finance and so on and so forth. And here is this, this, this special line. It would not be right for us, it would not be right for us, the apostles, to neglect the ministry of the word of God and prayer in order to wait at the tables. Nothing wrong with serving the widows and the orphans. But the apostles realized that we can delegate so many people to do this. We have so many people who are skilled in the community huh? with all kinds of skills, all kinds of gifts, all kinds of charisms. And sure, we can find people to serve at the table, while we, the apostles, uh, dedicate ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And that is where I got my inspiration from. And, uh, and later on, this led, by the way, to the appointment of the first seven deacons. Uh, and in the Diocese of Penang, we have four permanent deacons, okay? and two more under formation. Okay, and we have a variety of ministries, a variety of services, a variety of vocations, a variety of charisms, uh, shared by so many people, whether they be clergy, religious, or laity. Okay, but the point is the apostles, and today the successors of the apostles are the bishops. So these bunch of fellows called bishops, they better wake up and don't get entangled uh, with finance and administration only. And it's up to here that you have no more time for prayer in the ministry of the word. Sure, they are overall, they are responsible for all the ministries, all the services, and uh, they are accountable to the bishop. But he must uh, make sure that he puts aside time for prayer and for the ministry of the word, and that should be his number one priority, not number two. And that's where I got my inspiration from. And I thought I will do this uh, during this uh, time of uh, RMCO, okay, uh, recovery of uh, movement control order. I thought I will do it with, with you and spend this one hour in prayer and in the ministry of the word. Um, Usku menyatakan kenapa oh, maaf, di sini. <laughs> Usku menyatakan sebab-sebab uh, uh, kita mengadakan uh, sesi ini setiap hari Minggu pukul 4 petang. Ini masalah yang sesuai untuk tidur, untuk rehat. <laughs> Tapi apakah dorongan uh, Usku untuk, untuk uh, melakukan sesi ini, mengadakan sesi ini? Sesi ini adalah karena um, ada um, berdasarkan firman iaitu daripada kisah rasul bab 6 ayat kedua Mas, masa ini ini selepas pentikosta dan masa itu gereja kian makin besar umat-umat kian jadi ramai dan masa itu rasul-rasul semua sibuk 
dalam hal pentadbiran, kewangan, layanan, dan pelbagai. Dan mereka sibuk sampai tak ada masa. Tapi, tiba-tiba, Santu, Santu Petrus tersedar dengan sesuatu yang penting. Dan dia, kita, kita akan baca um, kisah Rasul bab 6 ayat kedua yang, men, yang, men, yang menyatakan. Dengan demikian, 12 Rasul itu menghimpun semua murid lalu berkata, Kami ini tidaklah wajar mengenepikan kewajipan menyampaikan firman Allah untuk melayan di meja makan. Apakah maksud itu? Santo Petrus tersedar bahawa keutamaannya, layanan keutamaannya adalah untuk berdoa dan menyampaikan firman. Ini tidak bermakna um, seorang uh, pengganti rasul, iaitu uskup. Um, tidak patut melayan orang miskin ke atau apa. Tetapi tanggungjawab utamanya ialah untuk berdoa dan menyampaikan firman. Di gereja kita ada pelbagai orang dengan pel, pelbagai karunia. Terdapat pelbagai layanan di keuskupan Penang. Dan ada banyak orang yang boleh melayan. Dan kita patut sedar kewajipan diri sendiri. Bukannya semua ditangguh kepada padri-padri romo-romo saja atau uskup. Walaupun mereka bertanggungjawab. Kita semua sebagai satu tubuh, satu badan, satu kesatuan. Um, uh, mungkin, uh, I think, uh, minggu lepas kita katakan, kalau saya jadi kaki, um, jail menjadi tangan, uskup menjadi um, kepala. Kalau semua kalau semua adalah tangan, habis. You know? Hati juga lah. Hati juga. <laughs> <laughs> kan? Jadi, kita semua ada um, tanggungjawab sendiri. Jadi, tanggungjawab untuk uskup adalah untuk berdoa dan menyampaikan firman. Itulah dorongan untuk sesi petang ini. Sesi untuk keuskupan ini. Jaman 让我们放弃天主的圣言以致他们没有时间祈祷
all of us to work together to build God's kingdom, to build the body of Christ, the church, uh, under the leadership of the bishop, who, as Andre said, is the head, and hopefully he will be asked to stay. Uh, so, Yenodi Mula Karna, in the Urban Nera, Uruban and Patricia Kotara, Yenodi Mula Karna, the Nera, Apostle of Pani and the Pusagan Day, Ara Madikara Day, the Sambava Mini. Name it. <laughs> many, many, many ministries and services, okay? But uh, that we are all working in hierarchical communion with the head, the shepherd, the bishop. So that as the bishop delegates all this, he will be able to devote himself, Peter says, St. Peter says, to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And that's why I enjoy spending this one hour with you in prayer and the ministry of the word. Uh, Titus and Andre will lead us now in this hymn that you all know by heart. I think which captures this, uh, that we are one in the spirit, we will work with each other side by side under the leadership of Peter, under the leadership of Pope Francis and your bishops. Silakan.
work and serve together and we'll walk together to give God the glory. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored and they'll know we are Christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are Christians by our love we will walk with each other we will walk hand in hand we will walk with each other we will walk hand in hand and together we'll spread the news that God is in our land and they'll know we are Christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are Christians by our love we will work with each other we will work side by side we will work with each other we will work side by side and will God each man's dignity and save each man's pride and will know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will sing the third verse again. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. For those of you watching right now, we know that it's not easy being in ministry. Sometimes, we rub each other's shoulders the wrong way. But you know what? Ministry is more than about us individually. It's about building God's kingdom, as Bishop said. If we are really one, the question is, are we really willing to put down our pride in humility? to work and serve with one another for the kingdom of God. We will sing this verse one more time. And after we sing it, I'm going to ask Bishop to say a prayer leading us maybe to the forgiveness or reconciling the hurts we might have experienced in ministry. Working together for the kingdom of God. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. And will God each man's dignity and save each man's pride? And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love.
heavenly father the spirit who led us in this song reminds us that we are walking together we are working together and we are worshiping together i want to bring everyone that you have called and chosen and sent within the body of Christ the church clergy religious laity the members of the elect those who are in ministries in various services beginning with their families and moving on to their small communities and moving on to their working places and moving on to society and to the church where they are involved in such a variety of ministries and services known and unknown to others where they are witnessing to you day and night where they are caring for widows and orphans and these widows and orphans are really all of us are really all of us whether they are in prison whether they are in our hiv homes wherever they may be in our homes for children wherever whether they are out in the streets whether they are in our families that you have called so many of us you have chosen so many of us you have sent so many of us and you have empowered us with the holy spirit in order to do what you have asked us to do so all of us need to be purified of our intentions of our motives for why we do what we do always going back to the source all of us need to be healed forgiven and reconciled for mission and for communion moving back and forth back and forth from communion with you with your people on to mission and back to communion all of us need to be nourished by your word which is constantly 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 healing us strengthening us anointing us and sending us forth i be we know that this is real and it is happening and it is happening in your time in your plan in your will that we are all in there already so we just want to continue to praise you and we want to sing the final verse of this song because it's finally not only about walking together or working together more importantly it is spending an hour worshiping you with the bishop who you have reminded must devote himself on behalf of his people to prayer and to the ministry of the word so i want to thank you for all out there who are with me in this hour of prayer and the ministry of the word not only walking together and working together but also praising god together worshiping god together and as we continue to praise and worship you heal all of us set us free deliver us as we pray in the our father from all evil especially the evil that is stopping us from our identity as disciples of Jesus leading us to communion deeper communion and mission so andre and titus will continue to sing this hymn and lead us to worship you together silakan oh praise to the father from whom all things come and all praise to Christ Jesus his only son and all praise to the spirit who makes us one and in no we are Christ 
Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, still know we are Christians by our love. Well, thank you for that uh, short but wonderful time of uh, praise and worship. I would like to gently move us to the next uh, reflection. And that is a kind of a vision of the church. A vision of the church. For almost 2,000 years, uh, we have been formed by a vision of the church where we uh, very easily uh, saw ourselves as a church made up of clergy and clergy basically means the bishops, the priests and the deacons, including the Pope who is the Bishop of Rome. And um, then a, a church of religious men and women, brothers and sisters as you used to call them those days, uh, consecrated men and women as they are called today religious men and women. Uh, you are familiar with them in the good old days. They were in our schools and in our hospitals and in various ministries. And finally, a church of laity. I have been reflecting on these three words for many years now. And as I reach out to my brother bishops in the churches of Asia, where we meet from time to time. And as I observe where the Spirit is leading us, I wonder whether we could have a, a slightly different orientation towards this church of clergy, religious and laity. These words, none of these three words are found in the, in the Bible, okay? Clergy, religious, laity, they were made up by us, by the church over 2,000 years of tradition, good tradition and experiences. I was wondering whether we could begin to think of the church, feel about the church as a church made up of apostles. Who are the apostles? Peter, the Twelve, and their successors today. Pope Francis and all the bishops are the apostles in the church today. And this comes from scripture, from the Gospels itself. Secondly, a church of disciples. Who are the disciples? The baptized. And baptism takes center stage. Members of the clergy are disciples. Religious are disciples. The lay faithful, like most of you or all of you, are disciples. So a church of apostles and a church of disciples. Because unless we become a church of disciples, we will probably not be able to push the mission button uh, strong enough. And finally, a church that is so open, so inclusive, so bridge building, that as Vatican Council II said, we are a church of the people of God. We include all who seek God with a sincere heart. We dialogue with people of all religions. The Alkita Versi Bonio is the combined effort of all Christian churches working together. Now this cannot happen without the Holy Spirit. Okay? A church made up of the people of God. Now, I would like to suggest that this is the way uh, to the post, if I may say, pandemic church that is emerging. A church of apostles, a church of disciples, and a church of the people of God. Untuk separuh masa kedua, petang ini. Um, uskup sedang telah hening tentang um, struktur dan apa maksudnya gereja 
Dan secara tradisional, pemikiran tentang gereja adalah dari atas ke bawah. Maksudnya daripada um, klerus atau para gembala yang termasuk um, paus, uskup, kardinal, romo-romo padri-padri, uh, deacon, kemudian kepada kaum uh, biara, kemudian ke orang awam. Ketiga-tiga ayat itu, iaitu klerus atau para gembala, klerus, um, kaum biara dan orang awam tidak terdapat atau liti, tidak terdapat dalam Injil. Ini adalah perkataan-perkataan yang diciptakan oleh gereja. Dengan secara lamanya, Uskup telah uh, heningkan perkara ini dan dia mendorong kita untuk memikirkan secara kebetulan apa maksudnya gereja mengikut Injil, mengikut Yesus iaitu, yang itu adalah sebelum, uh, selepas dan sekarang dan kemudian gereja adalah satu gereja um, yang adanya para rasul jadi uskup-uskup adalah pengganti-pengganti rasul Okay, para rasul. Nah, rasul tugas utama, kewajipan utama rasul adalah untuk berdoa dan menyampaikan firman, bukan pentakbiran. Itu tak sama. Seorang ketua yang mengutamakan pentakbiran adalah pemimpin korporat atau pemimpin NGO. Hmm. Tapi untuk gereja itu berlainan, kerana gereja adalah satu organisasi rohani yang yang duduk di dunia dunia ini yang ada kesan layanannya ada kesan dan kesannya adalah yang dijanakan oleh Roh Kudus belainan dari para rasul di mana um, anugerah um, di mana keimanan primat atau apa yang diutamakan adalah kasih, kebenaran dan kesatuan. Itu yang penting untuk um, uh, pengganti pengganti ras para rasul. Lepas itu terdapat murid-murid. Dalam bahasa Inggeris ada disciples. Dalam bahasa Malaysia murid-murid. Murid-murid uh, dibaptis dan diutus untuk menyampaikan berita baik ke seluruh suasana, situasi ke seluruh dunia. Murid-murid itu berlainan daripada pengikut-pengikut. Pengikut ikut saja. Murid belajar contoh dan teladan dan ajaran gurunya. Dan kalau um, gereja tidak ada cukup murid, gereja tidak boleh tekankan, mengaktifkan misi yang di berikan oleh Roh Kudus kepada gereja. Soalan utama sekarang adalah engkau dan saya murid atau pengikut? Follower or disciple? We should be disciples. Followers just follow. Disciples learn, replicate and become more. Okay? Dan mengikut majlis Vatikan yang kedua semua ini di karun anugerah Roh Kudus anugerah surgawi dikaruniakan kepada umat umat Tuhan umat umat Kristus people of God bukan orang awam umat satu pet, satu, uh, satu Petrus bab 2 ayat 9 mengatakan engkau adalah you are chosen people orang yang untuk pilih royal priesthood um, romo yang ditinggikan chosen people royal priesthood um, holy nation holy nation negara yang dikuduskan disucikan bukan umpama orang lain saya akan berikan contoh sedikit apa bezanya um, air suci dengan air biasa Air suci, what was the difference between holy water and normal water? 
nampaknya sama sama tapi air suci dipilih diasingkan it's consecrated for God's work it looks the same but it's consecrated engkau dan saya disucikan, dikuduskan engkau dan saya adalah umat Tuhan bukan air biasa engkau air suci ingatkan tu anda dan saya dipilih untuk kerja dan layanan syurgawi kerja dan layanan yang kudus sekali ingatkan tu dan ini adalah cara baru pemikiran baru sekarang dan kemudian bahawa gereja adalah satu gereja rasul murid dan umat. Jiaoman,呃,在这个一小时的下半部分呢,主教分享了他对传统教会的制度,呃,然后呢,还有他对未来教会的愿景。首先呢,他讲,在现今,就是这两千,两千年以来, 教会的传统制度呢，它是由呃牧者，就是由上至下的制度，就是由牧者啊为呃领导。然后呢，接下来呢，就是所有的神智人员啊修女啦，就是最其中其中跟我们呃教会呢是最息息相关、服务于教会最
துறவர சகோதர சகோதரிகள் ஒரு சில சீடர்கள் பொதுநிலையான மக்கள் ஆனால் முக்கியத்துவம் சீடர்த்துவம் ஞானஸ்தானம் மூன்றாவது திருச்சி என்றால் இறை மக்கள் இறை மக்கள் ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி நோக்கத்துடன் திருச்சபை பற்றி ஜெபிக்க சிந்திக்க நான் உங்களை அழைக்கின்றேன் நவ் டைடஸ் அண்ட் அன்றே வு லீடர்ஸ் இன் அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் சாங் அ வெரி ஓல் சாங் பட் ஐ திங்க் மஸ் ஆல்சோ சிங் சம் நியூ சாங்ஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் டைம் பட் நெவர் மைண்ட் ஐ திங்க் விச் பிரிங்ஸ் அவுட் திஸ் ஐடியா ஆஃப் வி ஆர் ஒன் இன் த சர்ச் அண்டர் த லீடர்ஷிப் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரான்சிஸ் த போப் and in this diocese and the my the leadership of the bishop but we are one church one foundation where jesus is the lord silica so after the song we'll ask you to do the final blessing and okay. then we'll we'll end it off with the papa oh, kami excellent okay Church's one foundation is Jesus Christ the Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her and for her life he died He led from every nation yet one or all the earth the charter of salvation one lord one faith one birth one holy name she blesses but takes one holy food and to one hope she presses with every grace and do It's all in tribulation and to the top the wall she waits the consummation of peace forevermore till with the vision glorious the longing eyes are blessed and the great church victorious shall be the church at rest yet she on earth had union with god the three in one and this sick sweet communion with those who express is one oh happy ones and holy lord give us grace that we I then the me can lord me in love me dwell with me as i wish to give my closing uh, reflections with you i was thinking of an article that came out in the star i will ask uh, david to put it on the on the screen Uh, of Plotikus Church. Uh, and I said that the post-pandemic church, I think, uh, will have three features. A return to baptism and discipleship. Okay. A return to the Word of God. Okay. And the third is a return to the life of the saints. 
And uh, if you look at that picture, which was in the Straits Times, you will see that instead of putting the X mark on your benches, Plotikus Church had a very creative idea. Uh, so the X mark, very boring, la, like X rated like that, you know. <laughs> Instead of X, they put a picture of saints and invited the people to come and to sit with the saints, uh, a variety of saints, and worship God on Sunday. So I thought that was fantastic. So well done, Plotikus people, uh, for that very splendid idea to bring out what I have been saying, a return to the lives of our saints, past, present, and future. Okay? And that is real. Uh, that's real. So I, I'm very happy to see Plotikus. Is the picture been shown on the screen? Okay. Uh, you would like to comment and say something about yeah. that? Uh? Um, um, I was uh, sangat gembira kerana um, dia mengatakan bahawa gereja lepas wabak akan berubah. Kebiasaan yang baru akan yang terjadi ada um, sekian muncul. Sekarang ni di um, surat kabar New Straits Times kemarin uh, terdapat satu um, artikel tentang imik, gereja Immaculate Conception di Pulau Tikus di mana uh, kerusi-kerusi adakan yang biasa ada palang <laughs> untuk tidak untuk menghalang untuk menghalang <laughs> larangkan orang duduk tapi di Pulau Tikus Um, di IC Church mereka adakan gambar santo-santo. Jadi mereka menjemput umat-umat untuk duduk di antara santo-santo. Ini mem- mem- menjemput kita kembali ke riwayat santo-santo yang lampau sekarang dan yang dan yang akan datang. Itu penting kerana ini mem- mengingatkan kita kedudukan kita bukan hanya di dunia tetapi alamat kita yang tetap berada di syurgawi dengan santo-santo yang ada. Ah, uh, Jujia ne gadao hen gao xing. Ah, uh, inwei ne zai zhe ge da liu gan guo hou ne, dang jiao hui chong xin kai fang de shi hou ne, ta kan dao uh, san ge te bie te bie de te zhen. Di ge ne jiu shi ah lin xi de shi yuan, jiu shi jiao you hui dao lin xi de shi yuan, hai you meng tu de na ge sheng huo. Ran hou ne ye hui dao sheng yuan dang zhong. Ke shi ne 啊，他最感到高兴的就是在这个《New Street Time》的报纸，呃，那那儿刊登了，呃，我们呃，布拉迪古斯呃，污染圣母污染原罪堂呢，呃，在那个教会的桌椅当中呢，呃，通常呢，我们都放了那个打叉的一个纸张，然后阻止教友在那边做。可是呢，在这个呃污染原罪堂当中呢，呃，就把圣人的照片放在那个竹子。呃，教友做的那边，所以呢，呃，这个这个想法呢，就是很新颖，然后很鼓舞的，因为呢，他鼓励教友们啊、呃、回看，或者是以圣人为目标，因为我们最终最终的那个愿景呢，就是天堂。谢谢。So, um, Plotikus koil le, onge X yendra yide sign board le, uh, narkali le, ingyo karla ingyo karavena. அந்த எக் சைன் போடாமல் அவங்க புனிதர்களுடைய படங்களை போட்டாங்க ஸோ நீங்கள் பூசைக்கு வரும்போது நீங்கள் புனிதர்களுடன் உட்கார்ந்து இந்த பூசையை கொண்டாடுவோம் என்று அந்த புது நோக்கத்துடன் செய்தார்கள் ஸோ புலத்துக்கு பங்கு மக்களுக்கு வாழ்த்துக்கள் ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் சண்டே ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு இன்வைட் யூ டு ஜாயின் மீ டு பிகின் த ப்ரெப்பரேஷன்ஸ் And to pray with me uh, is not about giving you information of what's going to happen at the Feast of Saint Anne, but to pray with me for the coming Feast of Saint Anne in Bukit Matajam, and how uh, Saint Anne is going to reach out to minister to the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of her devotees and those who are deeply in love with her, and how we are. I I want you to join me in praying. To prepare us for this feast that is coming up next Sunday. Okay, so I'll give you a blessing, and we will end up with uh, our Father in our very own Bahasa Malaysia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. 
And may Almighty God bless you all as you receive rest for your bodies as well as for your souls, as Jesus taught, told us this morning at the, in the Gospel, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Continue to enjoy your day off and we will end with the Our Father in Bahasa, Malaysia. Silakan. 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 Bapa kami yang di surga, suci lah namaMu. Datanglah kerajaanMu, terlaksanalah kehendakMu di bumi sebagaimana di surga. Berilah kami makanan. Untuk hari ini Ampunkanlah kesalahan kami Sebagaimana kami mengampuni mereka Yang bersalah terhadap kami Janganlah biarkan kami tergoda tetapi selamatkanlah kami daripada yang jahat. Engkau lah yang mempunyai kerajaan, kekuasaan.